Hello everybody, Defense here, and welcome to another episode of No Man's Sky. We are here, set, and ready to go. As I'm sitting here shooting my base, I'm sorry. <laughs> but as I was saying, I hope you're all doing fantastic today. What we have today is a couple different things. One thing, I did the base archives thing, which is something I've been doing off camera. I haven't really done it much in, like, recording. Because it's not really an important item. Ah, uh, well, I don't think it is, to be honest. And every once in a while, I get an item or or a crafting thing. That's how I've gotten a lot of my technology and such. Um, it's just been upgrades through that. But today, we got the appearance changer doohickey. And one of my missions was to build it. So I thought we'd start off throwing this bad Larry down. It's very inexpensive, to be honest. Which is nice. Um, I do have to wait for that to roll on through. But what we're going to do right now is swing on upstairs and deal with Apollo because we kind of ignored him last episode and I was kind of fine with it but at the same time we should probably answer him so oh I don't even have to go into space let's see what Apollo has to say how's the base make sure you hire a few staff with it uh, what are units for if not to assert dominance over your fellow life forms jeez uh, but on to more important things if you're going to work with me, your equipment needs to be in good condition. We can't have you dying out there. Not yet, at least. You can't find nanite clusters. Uh, you can find nanite clusters scattered in abandoned buildings and other damaged machines. Ironic, really, the same structures the Sentinels destroyed will lead to their deaths. Trade these nanite clusters with merchants and space stations to get the technology you need. Okay. Oh, and one last thing. Take this personal force shield blueprint. You're going to need it. Consider it a gift. My little investment into our partnership. Huh. I think I already have that, don't I? Um, exosuit, technology... No, I don't. I'm thinking of... Yeah, I have the these two here. The deflector shield. Uh, oh, no, that's not my ship. Where's my multi-tool? Yeah, personal force shield. So what did he give me if I already have it? Oh, that's a bummer. Did he not give it to me? Yeah, because I already have it. That's a bummer. All right, well, let's hop out of this. Um, nanite location detected. So I was just thinking about it, obviously, during that conversation there, but also on the flight over here. Most of the stuff these guys have tried to give me, I already have from exploring. Which, don't get me wrong, I enjoy exploring a ton. But it seems like maybe pushing through the missions sometimes might be a little better. I completely forgot about these things. Look at that face. Alright. But yeah, so... I think exploring is honestly easier, especially, well, honestly, especially since I have the the, uh, the module on there that recharges the jump jets on my ship, so I can take off and land all the time and not have to worry about it. But aside from that, it's been, uh, it's been pretty nice to have the stuff beforehand. I, f I don't feel like get the stuff from in here, but I'm going to do it. But yeah, so that's what I was just saying on all of that. Just so you know what's up with that. I personally think exploration is a little bit more fun. But the missions aren't as repetitive as exploration. Yes. <laughs> Returning user identified terminal now active. Unlocking data log. Continuation for analysis. The oceans here are blood. Nothing lives in them. They are alive themselves. Great protean life forms as large as continents. Or perhaps there is only one of them. What does such a thing consume, I ask? The answer seems to be everything. I found evidence of past life here, but no signs of it. Does the native flora and fauna hibernate when it comes to eat them, then return and repopulate once it retreats? I can feel it moving inside my brain, whispering. It wants me to discard my suit and swim. I discover something coded deep inside the long dead traveler's data log. Something has been left that will aid me on my own journey. See what I mean? Like, you get a lot of stuff here from these things, which is good. But obviously, the point of this was to get that. And now I have to locate a multi-tool merchant. So I have to visit uh, the space station. 
I'm gonna go up here and grab these pearls first though. I'm pretty sure I've been over here already. <laughs> Not even gonna lie, because this cave looks very familiar. Eh, maybe they reloaded, maybe they didn't. Who knows? Alright. I will meet you guys in the space station. So we are here at our technology merchant. Uh, it says, ask, uh, well, I can understand A2 into all, all sentinels will be four. The technology dealer is keen to show me their new stock, a powerful modification for my multi-tool. 60 nanites, that's nothing for me. Uh, bolt caster module B. Install the upgraded module at multi-tool. Uh, my multi-tool is getting a little full. <laughs> Alright, um, do, oh, there we go. I wish to install. Let's put it right there so it does the upgrade for me. Oh, I don't even have to do anything for it. Word. Plus 1% damage and plus 7% fire rate. For a B class, that's actually pretty garbage. At least in my opinion. I don't know, I could be wrong. Let's see what Apollo wishes us to do next. What's he want? I do really want to continue the, the little missions just so that I can um, get closer to getting um, the, like the exocrafts and stuff like that. Ah, oh, return to space. Okay, it was just being slow. To the spaceship, ho! You are not alone. I know you, traveler. I know where you've been. I know where you're going. Dot, 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 dot. Cause there is no need to hurry. Ask who they are. They're gonna say, I am you. You will find us when the time is right. Well. Oh! <laughs> it switched my missions. <laughs> I, it's weird that I came to space and got two contacts? Are you ready? Make sure you are. This job isn't going to be a small one. You might not be head you might not be heading back to your base of yours for a while. Bleh. Good. Let the hunt begin. I've detected a Corvax installation on the world of yours. The interference in your transmissions is a giveaway. It might be disguised in the style of another species, but don't be fooled. The synthetics delight in espionage. I'm not robotic. I was born just like you were. But that is but this is no world for flesh. My brain, what organs I have left, everything was transferred to this shell. This is who I am. Ask how this happened. I am curious. I took my revenge when the time came. That is all you need to know. Okay. So. Start from the hypothesis that the Sentinels use these portals to get around. How do they activate it? We need to observe. We need to summon them. And what better way than to, to attack a Corvax factory? They are both robotic life forms, too much in common, too much coincidence. Enter the factory and hack the terminal within. If you gain data about the Sentinels, good. If not, we'll have summoned enough of them to trace any energy spikes on that world of yours. The portal will be ours in no time. They do keep you pretty heavy with these missions, though. Not that it's a bad thing, but I feel some of the episodes lately have been a little more mission oriented. Um, I might mess around with some more base stuff in the near future if that's something you guys would like to see. Otherwise, I'll continue on with the missions, maybe get us the Exocraft, as I said. Kind of go from there. Hopefully a freighter in the next couple of missions. Oh look, they have a landing pad set up for us and everything. Come on, 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 come on. Alright, get in. Go, 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 go. <laughs> I don't want to die. Alright. Um, oh, please don't be anything I don't have. Oh, thank God. <laughs> uh, the terminal houses an upgrade module for my exosuit. However, I find few clues for Apollo. Uh, it seems the Corvax within left this world many days ago, apparently recalled on a priority transmission of their species. Uh, to their species flotilla, something has them worried. Probe factory logs. 
Uh, this place seems to have been more than just a factory. It was a home to the Corvax who lived within the walls. It appears that they were experimenting with uh, autonomy from their collective. Oh, they probably just got wiped. One of the internal sensors has recorded movement within the facility. It shows me footage of the vents at my feet. There is something in here with me. They shine a light upon it. It's a small hairy creature shaking and afraid. It cries out. The animal appears to have lived here for quite some time. There is a nest in the corner, vestiges of food upon a small dish, even a few clumsy toys and trinkets. The animal seems to have been a companion to the Corvax. My scanner tells me that the creature is gravely ill. It will die no matter what intervention occurs. Oh, well, that's sad. So no matter what, it dies? So I'm, I'm going to be nice and just euthanize it. As the creature looks mournfully up at me, I fire a single charge of my multi-tool. It shivers no more. Its suffering is at an end. I move on from the factory complex. Is there anything else in here that I want? Grab some encrypted data. Oh, see what I mean? Run. Get to ship. No ship means death. Alright, we got a level 3 wanted level, which isn't too bad. Woo! I can't go to space yet, I have to wait 10 seconds, otherwise the, the dudes in space will attack me. I do feel kind of bad for having not being able to save that little guy. I'm curious if giving it the carbon does actually help. It did tell me that it wouldn't. No, 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 I'm, 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 I'm thinking. You know what I mean? Alright, let's see what Apollo has to say. Good work. Your attack on the factory paid off. Did you get any useful data? Ask what happens next. I recorded countless signal flares when the sentinels started to appear. Energy streams sparked beneath the planet's surface, moving from monolith to monolith. We must be on the right track. Examine these structures. They are all linked. I know it. I'll attune your scanner to the sentinel energy signals. We shall soon have our prey. Good luck. I'll speak to you on the other side. Since the game keeps switching me over to the Space Anomaly missions, I'ma just do those. And one of the things I noticed while, while I was waiting, uh, well, when I got here, this is a really interesting thing. I don't know what this machine does. But this is ridiculously interesting. But that's not really important right now. You know, simple man, simple things. That looks cool though. I haven't seen any of the living ships yet. Let's actually swing over there. I just saw that right right before I did that. That's what distracted me. But look at this thing. It's like it's like moving. I've never obviously this is this is new to me. I haven't played with the uh, the living ships at all. God, that looks creepy. It looks cool though, but like at the same time, it looks looks creepy. I don't know. I don't know. Distractions aside. Sorry. Getting distracted. Let's head on up. We're going to talk to Nada. That's who it was. I wanted to make sure it was Nada and not Polo. Hello. They waved at me. <laughs> I wish I remember the emotes so I could wave back at the random NPCs that like to wave at you. Ooh. I almost got whacked in the head. But yes. Nada. What's up, bruh? What new knowledge, traveler? Is Apollo entity known to you? Explain Apollo's plan. A traveler entity that is not known to Nada, yet they know Artemis entity, who themselves no longer recalls Nada. You bring news that alarms Nada, what else does our home fail to see? Nada looks troubled, they retreat into themselves. Polo friend has kept us safe, Nada's carapace has been Nada's only for many years. Outside the cycle of data, we help others escape those who might process our reality. Nada has peace here. Those who hunt us cannot see us. Nada does not want it to end. But better to understand, to know what comes for us, 
Do not stop on our account. That's weird. Speak with Polo and other light forms aboard the anomaly. Polo holds coordinates for black holes, Atlas stations, travelers, Helios, and ours offer supplies of nanites. Word. Um, I'm going to hold off on that part because last time I did it, it didn't really bring me anything. So I'm not going to worry too much about that now. But I want to try and do something a little bit different than the missions. It's just kind of like and just jump, 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 and jump. You know what I mean? I've decided we're just going to do a couple more missions, but we're going to leave the Apollo missions for a little bit. I'm going to do that, but I thought I would stop off here because it's popped up on my map on my way back. The ancient marker hums at a frequency that burrows deep into my being, filling me with the voices of the Corvax echoes. The Sentinels forbid, forbid all destruction. The Sentinels forbid entity disconnection through violence. There is a way of peace and fulfillment, of logic and probability. They teach us that each life's they teach us that each life's value, from the smallest to that which gives life to all others, is equal. Um, I'm gonna do language. My knowledge of the Corvanch Corvax convergence increases. It seems like I've already been here before. I guess I must have just missed doing that. Because I did all my other bits. Eh, I don't know. But yeah, I will see you back over at the blue thingy. That one right there. We're going to we're gonna go to an observatory. I also want to apologize for a lot of the jumping around today. Every All the missions today seem to be really s short. I was going to say slow, but that's definitely wrong. Also, where's the entrance on this? Oh, right here. <laughs> Why do they always have us park on the backside? It's no fun doing that. All right, let's talk to this guy. What do we got? Scientist Entity Danum. Danum? Danum? I'm going to say Danum. The mask lights and the electronic life form brighten, then fade and extinguish. Then they do so again and again. Each time the entity reboots, they awake with shock and alarm, and the size and placement of the light is different. Help. Corvax disconnection loop. Element required to stabilize and every time they look up at me, it feels like a different creature pleading for help. They desperately point towards the elements I carry in my exosuit. Um, manage to stabilize, but has limited functionality. They buzz at me, but I cannot determine their meaning. Oh, I messed up. That's a bummer. I don't know. It. I don't think there's really. I don't think there's really a way to tell. Obviously, if I knew more of the language, that'd help. But I knew a pretty good amount of that sentence and still couldn't figure out which one I should give them. I don't know. We'll see what we have. Data siphon installed. Accessing. The observatory appears to have been calibrated for a single purpose: to locate the interfaces of a being the Corvax call the Atlas. After many years, the inhabitant of this facility succeeded in their quest, disappearing without a trace. I'm going to download the data. I do love how close everything's been to our base, though. When it's come to, like, check this building, check that. They've always been within, like, 15 to 25 seconds of travel. And it's been great. I love it. <laughs> I should really put a door through to that side so I can just hop out. I think that would be better. I'm also pushing my base on power. Sometimes it'll be, um, these will be pretty much empty. What are we looking at today? Um, yeah, we're only looking at 70%. So I either, I need, I need more power. <laughs> if I'm going to end up adding more to this base. Which obviously I think we're going to, because I think there's one more, um, piece that I can put. But I don't know for sure. I think there's one more. Traveler. While you have been absent, Corvax has detected anomalies. I feel alone. Perhaps the data will have the answer. Give data. This data contains no answers, Traveler. Merely these blueprints for living glass and a beacon. Oh, nice. Lubricant and glass. I think I, just, I, think I recently got lubricant, which is good. Or the recipe for lubricant, I should say. Uh, blueprint recorded to catalog. Return to scientist. There we go. 
The convergence is absent, Traveler. We, I, can feel myself sleep slipping further. Perhaps that beacon may be of some use. Construct, construct one and the convergence may find me again. Corvax is grateful, Traveler. I shall also work on my own solution while you investigate the beacon. We can build beacons in more than just Minecraft, guys. Ah, right, let's see. What do we need for a beacon? Uh, what would it be under? Would it be under tech? Portable. Well, there's the save beacon, but is that... Oh, it's this beacon. Is it? Yeah, it's got a thing around it. Oh, okay, so I do have to do the save beacon. All right, let's get... Quick one of those. I know I can just E to do it, but... Which is annoying, because I already have that that one there. Oh, no, this is to mark a specific point. Never mind. I actually almost bought this beacon the other day. Oh, no, it is a save. So, <laughs> I have the save point and the save beacon. But I think the beacon you can also use to mark an area. But I could be wrong. I think I read that somewhere before. Is the beacon constructed? Yes, it is. We shall wait. It may take time for the convergence to find me. My own research proved fruitless. It yielded only blueprints. Well, you did pretty good blueprint-wise, bud. You've only been doing this for like 30 seconds. An automated harvester for the mining of resources. Once activated, the AMU extracts minerals without the need for supervision, providing a regular yield until the site is exhausted. Huh. That might be what I was looking for. Also, atmosphere harvester. All right. Those atmosphere harvesters and mining unit plans prompted a thought. What if they could be friends for the beacon? What if they could make their own convergence? They shall be my children, traveler. I have transmitted the crafted intelligence to the beacon so that they might live and connect as the Corvax do. But it cannot see the world. Bring me scan data so that I might teach it. Research entered the ISO's plan seems desperate. But it does seem to have genuinely made them happier, or at least less anxious, about their separation. The Corvax asks me to scan creatures to feed its newly created intelligence. Yes. We, We thank you, traveler. Do you think it'll accept the creatures I've already scanned? Because I think I've scanned everything on this planet. To be an us again... Praise the new AI. I use the term artificial, but research entity ISO corrects me. They tell me that all intelligence is artificial. All bodies are mere shells for something greater. The Corvax body is merely a shell, a carapace for their souls, a networked core of many intelligences. Alright, maybe I have to wait a second. Ah. <sighs> Do I have to? Maybe I can scan creatures again. Let's see. There's usually a group of guys hanging out nearby. Yeah. <gasps> no. Ah, oh, and as I said, I think I've scanned everything on this planet. Um. Catalog. There we go. Nope. Discoveries. Eleven out of twelve. Yeah, there's only one creature on this planet I haven't scanned. Well, that's a bummer. And it's common. <laughs> Can't be that common. I ain't seen it yet. All right. Um, I think if I go to the other planet, uh, I I've scanned all but one there too. Hmm. There's nothing on that planet. Well, that's the one I just clicked. We only have one left on that planet and one left. <laughs> I think we're kind of stuck. We might have to go to one of the new systems. Unknown planets. Unknown planets. Yeah. Because we've scanned all but one in every area. Hmm. I think we're going to hold off on that part of the mission. Even though it would be great. Because if we could, I just wish it'd count stuff that I've already done. You know what I mean? Because like I've already gone through and scanned everything on this planet. And it's like, nope, gotta go scan it again. 
I've taken a look at the recipes for the two new items, the uh, the miner and the the air miner there. Both require stuff I don't currently have, and I'm just not going to go out and get it. <laughs> not even going to lie, that's it's just it's ammonia, which I don't actually know where to get. And um, what's the other one? I can't remember what the other one was, but they're both something that's not on this island. And they're also not for sale in there, so I'm not going to worry about them right now. We're instead going to her work here with Giz and see what he's got to say. Things are aligning. We are ready to know. We are ready now for a Gek farmer to join us. Indeed, I have already prepared their contract. All you need to do is gather the selenium required to finalize their workstation. There's a lot more workstations than I thought. <laughs> Uh, Trader Giz grows in confidence and seeks again to expand my home. I find it hard to disagree with them, for a farmer would open up a world of possibilities. The overseer needs selenium to complete the agricultural terminal plans. Selenium grows on scorched planets and requires hazmat gloves to harvest, except... Selenium is not easy to acquire in the wild, but this only proves the value of recruiting a farmer. I could have sworn I recently saw selenium, but I don't think either of our planets are scorched planets. All right, let's head to space. All right, we started hopping planets, guys, and we got a bunch of dudes shooting at me now. I don't know what's going on, but I'm a fight. I think there's only two. Well, there were two. I think I just killed one. Oh, it just showed one ahead of me. Where'd he go? I don't know what's going on here, but I'm gonna keep shooting these guys. Oh, don't shoot that. They'll get very mad if I do that. Alright, you know what we'll do? Let's do this. Let's just boot around. As I said, this ship is not made for fighting. So when we get into combat, this ship's... It's... Yeah. No, I don't want them back online. I want to finish fighting these guys. Where is he? Ah, there they is. Got him! Oh, there's still more. I'm under attack still. Barrel roll! Alright. Oh, it's our first bit of combat, guys. I'm not very good at combat. I know I gotta aim at that circle. There we go. Got him! We got more. How many of these dudes are there? Got him. Oh, wow. Is this like a freighter v freighter battle? If so, that's nuts. Starship shields at full capacity, but I'm getting shot at now. Again. That one looks cool. I like that. It looks like a firefly. Oh, well, he did. Oh, no, not yet. I'll take him out. Alright, is that all the ships? Oh, he's still flying. There we go. I don't know what just happened. Emergency comms established. Ooh, somebody's talking to me. Organic life form. Please, for reciprocal aid. The life form, who must be the captain of this freighter, looks greatly relieved. The gesture as if to welcome me aboard their vessel. Yeah, let's do it. Which one's yours? Did he, oh, to my right. Oh, yeah, how could I miss that? <laughs> All right, let's get onto this freighter. It looks like it took a little damage. That uh, might have accidentally banned from me. Whoop, I think the entrance is on the other side of the ship. Yeah, again, space is tough because there's no up or down in space. You're just going to find a plane to orient yourself on and hope that it works. Hey, where'd this freighter go? Okay, there it is. Whoop. Excuse me. Is 
It's gonna say it'll accept me and eventually. <laughs> it wanted me to use the far left. It didn't want me to use the right door. Left door only. Now let's hop out of that. And we shall head on upstairs, because it looks like that's where it wants me to go. Oh, I can't. I forgot I can't melee in here. Alright. I need to upgrade my sprint. I've upgraded almost everything else on my suit except for my sprint. I should find something and take care of that. Hello, Admiral Pug. Pugak? Pugachi? I'll call him Admiral Pug. Um, Aid of Traveler Corvax. Lights flicker rapidly across Lightform's visor, and their head nods imperceptibly forwards. They seem to be showing me gratitude. They gesture towards the control panel of their freighter as if to suggest I should make command. I should take command. Huh. Well, I've been trying to figure out how to get a freighter without having to buy one. I guess this is how I do it. I think we'll take it. Because I definitely can't afford a $13.3 million freighter. So let's see what it's got. It's got some silver and some gold on it. And it's got an empty hyperdrive. I'm going to take it. Restore point saved. Thank you, sir. Inspect your fleet. I will do that in a moment. We have done a lot in today's episode, to be honest. And I'm happy with it. I'm, uh, we, I, pretty much from what you can tell here, we are going to be calling it right here. But I want to run downstairs before we do and see if all of my... Oh, yeah, look at them all. I got all my ships. Now I can play around with them and figure out what I'm going to do with each of them. I have to repair a bunch of them, and I have a bunch of stuff back at base to do so. But yeah, we'll be able to get an upgrade. As I said, I might end up um, using them for trade-ups or scrapping them for parts, if that's a thing. I think there's something you can do with the ships, but I've got a couple different different designs. So I have those two. Um, this one's a duplicate. I've got two of them, I think. Yeah, these are the same style. And then I got my original one back there. So next episode, we'll probably do a bit of playing around with these ships, repairing them, seeing what we can do with them, and also exploring the freighter and what we can do with this. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. But as I was saying, this is going to be it today. I hope you did enjoy. And if you did enjoy, please do let me know with a like and a comment down below. But with that, thank you. And hope you all have a nice night, day, morning, evening, whatever it is, or wherever you are. This is my defense. I hope to see you again soon. Peace.